Hey guys, I'm Amrod and in this video tutorial I will just go quickly through conversion process of Dudet which has multiple textures. So in my case I've got this ballista which uses two textures. One texture is the throw and the another texture is uh, the rest. Uh, so just let's just make it quick now. I want to export this as my ballista for example. I will want to run Blender import it. I have shown you how to do this in previous videos, so I will just be real quick about this. I will want to apply modifier, which is edge split, on both parts. And I will want to fix my UV. Just make sure that everything is selected. Now, when this is done, I can export my object. Remember to use presets for World of Warcraft. Export it. By the way, what you are, what I would already recommend you to just make sure that you get your texture names here. In my case, I don't because I have kind of forgotten to set them here. So, do I have now Ballista or yeah, Ballista? So, I will just rename my materials to match my texture names in case you don't have this. I would recommend you to do it here. Just make sure now, you can see that every single object here has only one material on it. There are no more materials, only one material per object or per uh, geoset. And every single material has only one, obviously only one texture on it. And uh, that material names matches the name of that texture. This will make our life a little bit easier now. So let's just export it well, again. And now you can open our object like we have did it uh, in previous video but we will do something a little bit different here in case you've got your textures in the same directory you would now do the same as in previous video you would just go to use mpl lines and just check if your uh, texture names are correct in my case they are correct now because i have set them correctly in blender already as material names so I don't have to change anything here uh, but this would work only if those textures are to be in the same directory but let's say that I want to have my textures in different directories well in my case I would like to have my uh, rope texture in dungeons folder and in what folder I would like to have this uh, ballista textures so they are in completely different paths and yet another scen uh, possible scenario would be that uh, they are in different paths but uh, they share something in common so in this case both textures are invert but this one is just directly invert and this one is invert test so they've got at least something shared between them in directory to them so let's cover this first so in this case if you've got something uh, which those textures share in their path you want to insert that shared part into your script so my text my paths to textures are here or my names of textures are set here and now you want to edit your object to m2 script i will just delete this because i have tested this before already so I will edit it and you want to again change your input file name. In my case, it's already my ballista. My ballista is my export uh, exported file name. And uh, you need to set what is in common between those paths. So in my case, it's word. Both textures are in Word, but one is in Word, one is in Word text. So Word is shared. So Word will go here and I want to change path to uh, rope a bit, a little bit. 
I will insert this here. So what will happen now? It will take this path here and add it behind this part here. So both textures will have word like this and then this will be added here. And this here will be added here. And then the BOP extension would be automatically added as well. So now you can see that paths to my textures are correct because I have inserted this test part which is different in front of my texture name in my object file. And now this should work without any issues. So I will just delete this, run this script. And as you can see, I got right word, amro, blp, and word. Uh, I have probably forgotten to save that. Sorry about that. So once again. Yep, I haven't saved my changes. Now it should be all right. So yeah, now I've got word test amro blp and word ambalista blp. That's what I wanted. So I got my paths to my textures correct. I will just test it in my uh, test patch if it works. Let's place it here, for example. Run model viewer. And it's all right. As you can see, uh, my uh, texture fix didn't work out, so I will apply it again just to make. I will apply it. Okay. But apart from that, th my textures are correct. So let's just go to Blender. This can happen sometimes. So I will just apply modifier again. This can sometimes happen. So it's good that it happened that I can warn you about this. So since from islands, correct. And since from islands again. Sometimes you need to do this twice like I did now for some reason. Yeah, I still don't know why. So as you can see, this is a little bit tedious process overall, uh, which is a reason why I really prefer WMOs whenever I can use WMOs. As there is just better script or better conversion process for them. So let's just check texture path again. They are correct, both of them. It's good that it happened to us, so I can show you that what it looks like when your UV maps get uh, messed up. And now it's correct, finally. So you can see that our model works now. But what if you want to use completely different paths to textures? Let's say that you want to have one texture in, well, in dungeons path and one in word path. So in this case, both textures are in completely different paths. They share nothing in common. So you've got nothing to insert here. There is no common part between those two paths. Well, this is a little bit problem uh, because uh, this script won't work with uh, this uh, blank. It will just crash. 
So if, it, if I would use just this, it would give me a crash. So what I need is to set my whole paths to my textures in my object file and I also need to write at least something uh, in here. So I have probably deleted my object file so I will just export it again. Here it is, so I don't want to I don't want material, I want this object here, use MPL, and I want to set whole path to my texture here. In this case, it will be dungeons, I think. Dungeons, yep, probe was in dungeons. So, dungeons. So, this is my whole path to my texture without extension, and just delete one letter here. Okay, moving to another texture, and that one was invert. So, again, whole path to your texture without extension and delete the first letter. When this is done with every single texture you've got, save this, and we want to set our object to empty skip in this way. Just insert any sort of letter here, for example, T, just to illustrate this, and save this and run this. So what has happened now? As you can see it has added the T in front of my path but there's only one letter and I can just fix this now. I can just write D here, write W here and now my paths are correct. Dungeons, AMRO, BLP, BERT, AMBOISTA, BLP. So this is the way of setting uh, textures if you've got uh, some sort of texture in a completely different path and they don't share anything in common uh, you need to you you can get uh, around to this system like this that you place one letter in your object to m2 script and then just rewrite it here now you can save this and again this should work without any issue now you've got our Ambalista invert, Amrope in dungeons, and there should be no issue with that. So that's it. So this is the way of setting multiple textures to your uh, model if they are in different or in completely different paths. So I hope this was useful for you guys. In another video, we will uh, fix our collision problems and another problems you might have with model, but uh, that's work in 010 editor. So I will again dedicate whole tutorial to just that. I hope you. For, I <laughs> thank you for watching, and happy modding.